Hello my dear students, this is part 3rd video of the structure of atom class 9 CBSC. So in this video we will explore about the isotopes and isobar. So let's see one by one. So what is isotope? You can see in the picture these are the three different atoms of the same hydrogen elements. So first one is the proteum, second one is the deuterium and third one is the tritium. Actually all these are the hydrogen atom. But what is the difference? Here the atomic number is 1, 1 and 1 but the mass number is changed here in the proteum mass number is 1, in the deuterium mass number is 2 and in the tritium mass number is 3. So what is isotopes? These are the atoms of that have the same atomic number but different mass number is called as isotope. What is isotope? If the different atoms of the same element having a same atomic number but different atomic mass number is called isotope. Now the characteristics of the isotopes. The first characteristics isotope of an element consists of the same number of protons and electrons but the different number of neutrons. Yes, obviously if the atomic number is the same means the number of protons and number of electrons will be the same but what is the different? The number of neutrons are different. You can see these are the examples in the previous example also you can see here in the hydrogen atomic number is 1 here also 1 and 1 that's why the number of electron 1 1 1 and number of protons 1 1 1 what what is the difference here number of neutron 0 here 1 and here 2 that's why the number of neutrons are different in the isotopes you can see in another example that is a carbon 12 carbon 13 and carbon 14 here the number of proton 6 here number of proton 6 and number of proton 6. If proton is 6 means obviously the number of electrons also 6. But what is the difference? In the C12 the number of neutrons are 6. In the C13 number of neutrons are 7. And in C14 number of neutrons are 8. So isotope of an element consists of the same number of protons and electrons. But what is the difference? But the different number of neutrons are there. So that's why the different number of neutrons. Now second characteristics isotope of a particular element have the same chemical property but different physical property because the chemical properties depend upon the number of electrons if the number of electrons are the same in the isotope, isotopes then the chemical property of that all isotopes will be definitely same but what is the different the physical property will be different the third characteristics the mass of any natural element is taken as the average mass of all naturally occurring isotope of that element. Now the next point average atomic mass. Many elements consist of the mixture of isotopes that is the atoms having a different mass number. The average atomic mass of an element is the average of the mass number of all the naturally occurring isotopes of that element. For example, boron 10 has a six pro uh, 5 proton and 5 neutron but in the boron 11 has a 5 proton and 6 neutrons. So naturally chlorine occurs in the form of two different isotopes. The first one Cl35 and second one Cl37 in the proportion that is a 3 is to 1 respectively. That's why can you calculate the average atomic mass number of chlorine? How can we calculate? We can calculate by the average atomic mass of chlorine will be here 3 is to 1 means C35 will be in the 3 portion and C13 will be in the 1 portion. So we can calculate 3 into 35 divided by 3 plus 1 plus 37 into 1 divided by 3 plus 1. So 105 plus 37 upon 4 it will be equal to 142 divided by 4 that's why the average atomic mass number of chlorine will be 35.5 now the applications of isotopes so isotopes can be used in the medicinal purpose so first one cobalt 60 used to prevent cancer in the radiation therapy iodine 131 locate brain tumor and monitor cardiac liver and thyroid activity 
carbon 14 can be used to study metabolism changes for the patients with diabetes carbon 11 tagged on the glucose to monitor organ during the PET scan sodium 24 study blood circulation thallium 201 to determine the damage in heart tissues detection of tumors and the last one technetium 99m locate brain tumors and damage heart cells etc so these are the some applications of isotopes now what is isobar you can see here aragon potassium and calcium these three different atoms of the different element in the isotope say different atoms of the same element but here different atoms of the different elements are there so these are the atoms of have the same atomic mass number but the different atomic number you can see here atomic number is 18 mass number 40 atomic number 19 mass number 40 atomic number 20 mass number is 40 so atomic number is the different but what is the same atomic mass number is the same so this is nothing but the isobar now characteristics of isobar two isobars have different number of protons and electrons but the number of nucleons remains the same you can see these three different atoms in the three atoms the number of electrons different because the atomic number is different means number of number of protons also different proton here 18 19 and 20 electron also definitely 18 19 20 so, but but in case of neutron 22 21 20 means either proton is not same electron is also not same and neutron is also not the same that's why we can say but we can say the nucleons means the addition of proton and neutrons is 40 here 40 here 40 that's why the number of nucleons remain the same number of nucleons remain the same in the isobar so here the number of nucleons are definitely 40 in the argon potassium and calcium now the sum of number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom is called as nucleons just i told isobar have different chemical as well as physical properties because the number of electrons are not same number of protons also not same and number of neutrons also not the same that's why chemical as well as physical properties will be the different in the isobar thank you my dear students